Alright guys, so right now, we're getting ready to cut out the rest of this decal. So if you look here, boom, hit that, and we're good. That's how it works, guys. Alright, so what's going on, guys? So right now I'm just cutting out this decal for someone. And basically, it's a 30-inch banner, so it's kind of taking a little bit more vinyl. So I had to order just a tad bit more, so it's basically done now. So I finished it, it's done. So I'm about to cut it out, peel it, and paste it so I can ship it out for tomorrow. And I already shipped out the other ones, yes, uh, actually, yeah, yesterday. So if you order from me, you'll be definitely getting yours sometime this week. Hopefully, if you live far out, just keep patient. I ship everything out. I don't waste time. Trust and believe that. I didn't get to vlog uh, today, uh, which is Tuesday. I didn't get to vlog today. So this vlog will be for what I'm doing right now will be for tomorrow, which is Wednesday. So be on the lookout for this vlog. And I'm seeing that a lot of you guys liked my pros and cons for the air suspension. So maybe I'll do more style of videos like that. So if you guys have any ideas or opinions that you would want me to voice out or, you know, just have my opinion on something, just let me know and I'll talk about it for you guys. So, yeah. I didn't get to vlog uh, today. Uh, which is Tuesday. I didn't get to vlog today. So this vlog will be for what I'm doing right now will be for tomorrow Which is Wednesday, so be on the lookout for this vlog and I'm seeing that a lot of you guys liked my pros and cons For the air suspension, so maybe I'll do more style of videos like that So if you guys have any ideas or opinions that you would want me to voice out or you know Just have my opinion on something. Just let me know and I'll talk about it for you guys. So yeah. Easy, just like that. And there you have it, guys. That oil slick. Alright, guys, so at first I was like, you know maybe i should just buy these stickers for my wheels because a lot of people don't know that my wheels are work wheels they're work wheels three piece work wheels s1s so i was like you know what i'm gonna buy the stickers off the work wheel website but then i was like holy shit i make stickers so i just made some work wheel stickers right here so yeah no i'm not gonna make it for others because it's basically illegal but i just made it for myself because that's a save of six dollars Look at my baby, all aired out for you guys. I'm going to put one of the stickers on right now. And it's on there, guys. Boom. Now, you can't tell me my shits are fake. <laughs> it's like every guy's pet peeve who purchases real wheels. It's like, you went out your way to actually buy real wheels, but then people still think they're fake. It's like a big ass pet peeve. Like I hate that shit. Like especially like with the RSs, people will think they're fake before they would think they're real. And it's like you can tell a real wheel from a fake wheel like that just off the lip alone. Relationship goals right here. Two, a couple riding together. Eat a Snickers, bro. You know how you get when you get hungry. Thanks, bro. Thanks. I feel a lot better now. So the weather is finally starting to break and it's starting to get warmer now. Like right now it's kind of hot and sitting inside this car and I have my windows up. I'm about to just open it. But um, yeah, in April it rains a lot. So you never know where the weather is going, but it's supposed to be actually nice this weekend. So you guys will definitely get to see a good amount of people this weekend at this car show, which is H day. And I'm pretty excited for, I mean, I don't really have much going on in the car. I kind of wanted to get seats for my S2000, but I might have to wait. There's plenty more other car shows that's gonna go down and happen, so you guys just have to, you know, be patient and look out for that. Help me hit a thousand subscribers this week. Can you guys help me do that? Probably not, that probably won't happen, but it's worth a shot, right? So if you guys can just share any of my videos, any your favorite video, that I've done just please just share it just share it for me 
and let's see if I can hit a thousand subscribers this week. So I've been practicing with uh, my DG Ronin and you know I'm starting to notice that maybe I may need a new lens because I feel like there's at certain angles when I'm trying to pan it's not catching everything and that's because I'm using this I'm using my um, 50 millimeter 1.8 lens which is a good picture lens like it's good for photography wise but for video it's really not that great and I need to get something that's wider so I might try to get like a 28 millimeter uh, lens or maybe something even lower than that but A7's they're like really expensive so their lenses cost a lot of money so it's probably gonna be a minute or I might just rent one but we'll see um so yeah I'm still practicing with the Ronin It's not as easy as I thought it would be and the editing is way harder because you got to get it to match up with the um the car the, the the music and everything like that so it's not as easy as I thought it would be but like I said practice you know makes perfect and with due time it'll come even like when I first started doing like photography I wasn't good like at all and I'm still not the best and I'm still not that great but my photos are pretty decent you know what I'm saying and from where I came from till now it's like I see a big ass difference so you know you just like I said it's just over time and practice and practice and practice practice only makes perfect so you know you you'll 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 get it over time I'll get it over time because I'm the one that's doing it so you know I just gotta keep going at it and not give up because it's, it's, it's honestly one of those things is just like yo I'm not getting it like come on like I might just give up but anytime I don't give up and I keep trying I always see better results because now I'm more motivated and I'm a very motivated person and I hope that you guys watching my videos you feel motivated to do things too because I want you guys to be motivated I want you guys to be you know trying to do the best that you can and not settling for less See me, I'm not trying to be one of those YouTubers who get you guys to come by clickbaits and things like that. I want you guys to come, see what I do, enjoy it, watch it, have fun, show it with your friends or whoever, and just feel the motivation and want to do better and want to do stuff and not feel like, yo, you know, I can't do this because I'm telling you, I was always like that. Like, damn, like, look at these guys, they are doing all this stuff and I'm just here, blah, blah, blah. Until I took it into an initiative and I was like, you know what, I'm going to try, I'm going to work at this myself. I started seeing results and now I feel like, yo, I really feel like I could go far and I really feel like I could take this somewhere. Like, I've had three cars in my life. I had an RSX, I had the, the Civic Si, and now I have this. Well, matter of fact, I lied. I had the RSX, I had the Civic, I had the BMW, and now I got this, so four cars. But, when I first started out, I was very very intimidated by the whole car thing I'm like damn like these guys are like crazy cool like they got like I, I was like 16 at the time so I'm looking at their cars and I'm looking at my car like yo my car is so ass I'll never be able to get to them like this and I'll never be able to do this until I actually sat down saved my money and started working at it. like my first car which is the RSX I don't know if I have any pictures of it if I do I'll place it but if I don't you don't see it <laughs> Okay, that was my first car. Honestly, that shit was whack. I'm not even gonna lie, but I broke so many necks. I had the the RSX with the, the JDM front lip, and I sticker bombed the front lip. That was like the first thing I've ever done. I wrapped it myself. Everyone used to love it, and my car was silver. But I didn't know much about like wheels and stuff like that. So now I know a lot more. So now when I look back on it, it's like, yo, what the fuck was I thinking? Like, yo, I had these uh, drag wheels. And they're like, they were like, they, I think they were 16s. And the shits had like the most bubble tire on it. Like, it had the highest profile tire you could think of on it. It looked so bad. Like I said, if I have a picture of it, I'm going to show you guys. So then I sold that, and I went and got me the FA5, which is my Civic Si. I always wanted it. So I was like, yo, I'm going to get that. I'm going to get it. And I finally got it. Sold my, my RSX, put my money down, and I got my Si. But I bought the Si cash. I bought it from someone cash. And I, I gradually worked on it, right? So my first set of wheels, I got tricked. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I got tricked super hard. Because I did, like I said, I didn't know much. And I went and I bought some BBS LMs. But I thought they were actual BBS LMs. Because the guy had the center caps, all that stuff in it. Because by this time, I kind of was learning more about the car-related things. But I just didn't know everything off rip. Like, I didn't know how to tell a fake wheel from a, 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 a real wheel. So I bought them thinking they were LMs, so I went to a car meet and it had LMs on, I had the BBS LMs. So guys coming up to me like, yo, 
these are nice BBSLMs. I'm like, thanks, man. Thanks, man. So this is, and then one of my friends came up to me. He's like, yo, are these real? I was like, I mean, when I bought them, the guy told me they were real. He's like, yo, bro, these aren't real. But me being me, you know, I should have realized they weren't real because I paid like 300 bucks for them and I bought my own tires. So I was like, what guy would sell BBS LMs for 300 bucks? But like I said, I was new. Like, I literally just had the car for like maybe not even a month and I bought wheels for them. I didn't even lower the car yet. So then I sold those. And then I went, and the money that I got with those wheels, I went and bought myself a nice set of coilovers. Well, they weren't nice, but they were Megan's. And Megan is pretty good, but they can't go that low. So if you guys ever are looking into coilovers, make sure if you do get the Megan's, you get the 36 way. So that way you can go way lower. Megan's don't drop that low, but you'll be able to get that, that good stance. I guess if I have a picture of it on my Megan's, which I should, I'll put it, I'll put it here for you guys. And then after I got the Megan's, the uh, the Megans. After I got the Megan coilovers, I went and bought um, what wheels did I get? I think I got the J and C wheels, and that was the f that was like the first set of new wheels that I bought. So they were J and Cs. Then I sold the J and Cs, and I got the Varstones. And after the Varstones, I got the um, I got MB Battles, and then MB Battles. Then I got the the um. The BBS's. No, no, no. I got my work equipment and helos. I had got those. And those wheels were fucking badass. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. Them shits had like a four inch lip. It looks so good. So, that's why basically this whole vlog is just about people who feel discouraged. You know, you don't know something, so you kind of just fall back and watch. But it's always trial and error. Like, I'm telling you, I went through so much trial and error where it's like, you know, I had to really figure some shit out on my own, or if I was able to Google it or find it, I found it. So that's why, like, when people ask me questions, I answer them, and I try to help them as much as I can. Because I know I was that guy who didn't know anything and wanted questions, and some people wouldn't answer. Some people act like they don't, they didn't see your shit, but I know you've seen it type thing. So you kind of just have to really just do your research and learn and figure out what exactly you want to do. And don't be like me. Like I said, I, I've done things super, like, things so wrong sometimes. Like, I'll fucking go get, I had got my car painted but didn't get wheels, so when I got my wheels, the wheels didn't fit, so I rolled the fenders, and the fenders got fucked up, so it's like, you, you learn, you learn by, you know, over time, you learn things from shit that you fucked up in the, in, in the first place, that's why I say trial and error, you're, you, you'll get it, it may not be right the first time, the second time, but that third time, you're gonna hit hard, and I kind of was like, damn, I'm fucking up too many bumpers, I'm fucking up too many lips, fucking up so much shit, you know what, I gotta get bags, so now it's been like, I've had the car for like two years. And I'm like, you know what? i bag it. Finally, I'm a bag it. So I bought myself um, a set of bags, which was Airex, and I had airlift, management, and tank, whatever. Boom. Had that done. Got my car um, on the bags. Put it on the BBSs. Whew. Shit looks so good. Then I was like, yo, gotta get the conversion again. Because mind you guys, I had a, a Mugen RR conversion from before. You know what? I'm going to put a snippet of my old video. An old video that I dropped that basically like brought so many people to my page. And so many people know me from. So I'm going to drop that video in here. Just like a little snippet of it. I'll put it in here for you guys to see it. That was my first conversion ever. <laughs> So then, I broke that conversion, if you guys go back on like two vlogs, uh, my Street Wars vlog, I showed you a video of this the street, where I drove down and I said I broke my first front end on, I broke that shit. I had that conversion for like a week or two, and then broke it, boom, had to take it all off, because it was all fiberglass, that's why, anytime people try to sell me bumpers and things like that, like if it's fiberglass, don't waste my time, because I'm not going to buy it. And finally, I finally got my bags, and I was like, you know what, got to get another conversion. So I went and got a whole OEM conversion, right? But I lucked up. I traded my Mugen front end for the conversion. So I sold the guy, the, the my bumper, my lip, my grill, all that stuff for his 
um, FD1 conversion and all I had to do was buy a FD1 front lip. So if any of my FA5 owners are still following me or any of you guys who watch my videos and you still have your Civic SI, just be careful with Zest JDM, okay? Because a lot of you guys have asked me, like, where do you get your stuff from? And I'm like, yo, I got it from Zest JDM, which it, I did. But you just have to make sure that they have it in stock. They have a number that you can text to ask them, yo, do you guys have this in stock? If they do, they ship it to you ASAP because I got my lip ASAP. And on top of that, their fitment sometimes is like hit or miss. Luckily, me, I was good. But I did have to grind out my indicator holes. So, I mean not the indicator, the, the side marker holes, my bad. I had to grind it out just a little bit to fit the side markers in it. So, you know, I got the, the, the FD1 front end, got it all repainted. Now I got the whole car repainted, so I'm like, alright, now I'm out here, it looks good, it looks great. And then kind of just got tired of it, you know, like, had got the Recaro seats, had got the redone redid the headliner red so everything inside was red i did my back seats myself that shit looked tacky but whatever so you know i got tired of it i'm like you know what i kind of want to do something different so then that that same year uh august i sold my car a lot of people went crazy like yo why did you do it your car's the reason why i started this your car's the reason why i started that should have never did it bro blah 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 made me feel bad about myself like you know what Fuck the car scene. I'm done. I don't want to do this shit no more. Blah blah blah. So I went and bought the most expensive car you could think of, a BMW with the red interior, everything. So I'm like, yeah, but I wasn't happy with it. Like, like I wasn't happy at all. I just kind of was like, damn, like I got a BMW, but damn, like this shit's drinking all my gas. So I'm like, you know what? I'm about to get me another car. So I was gonna buy another Civic and rebuild it. I really was. I was gonna do another Civic and I was gonna do a YouTube channel just so you good guys could see it because like I said, a lot of you guys, like a lot of guys on my Instagram are from that like those style of cars, like the eighth gen civics and the FA fives and the F F G ones and all that stuff. So they kinda just like wanted to they always used to have questions. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna rebuild one from scratch. Boom, and show you guys how I did it. And I was gonna put it on YouTube. But then I was like, damn, like, I see this S2000. Like, mind you, the S2000 that I'm in, I, I went to go look at it a whole month before. And I was like, yo, I think I'm going to buy it. I think I'm going to buy it. So, you know what? I was like, you know what? I went to Simply Clean 8, and I'm like, damn, like, all these cars out here are looking crazy. And I'm in my BMW. Like, this shit's kind of whack. So then I was like, you know what? I'm going to go home. I'm going to buy that S2000. I'm going to hook it up, and I'm going to come back next year. You guys see me in the S2000. Simply Clean 8, I'll be there in Florida with a couple of my homies. So if you guys are in Florida, you'll definitely see me there. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy another car and I'm going to do it again because, you know, you miss it. Like, you miss this stuff. Like, you miss. I missed rolling the shows. I miss going to shows. I miss hanging out with friends and stuff like that. Even though I did it even without the car, but it was just more like you got the recognition with your car. Even though, like, they knew who I was, but it was like his car is cool too. So... You know, I just missed it, and when I was at Simply Clean 8, I just kind of just caught the, the fever again and just was like, yo, I got to do it all over. So, here I am now in the S2000 doing vlogs for you guys, showing you how I started from buying this car brand new, stock, well, not brand new, but used, and stock, and how it is now. Like, it's not much going on, but it does have goodies in it. So, you know, it just takes time, you know, everything takes time. Once you actually set your mind to something i'm telling you you will be able to achieve it because like i said i used to sit here and be like damn i'll never be able to afford this or i'll never be able to do this and i'm doing it and i'm only 23 for the guys who keep asking me i'm 23 all right i'm 23 and i'm just working as hard as i can and i'm doing the best i can and like i said i'm gonna keep putting out content for you guys because a lot of you guys leave a lot of good feedback and you know i'm definitely like i'm loving it and i love the the, the love that you guys are giving me so is making me more motivated. And like I said, I'm a motivated person. Love you guys, man. So peace out. I'm about to go inside, get this paper.